Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin, be sure you turn off the power supply to your dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Your first step is to remove the lower dish rack. Next, Carefully pull out the tabs to release the lower wash arm. Rotate the drain trap to release the trap and wash arm support. Remove the filter. Remove the screws to release the mounting stem assembly. Remove the check ball. Next, remove the screws to release the lower access panel or panels. Disconnect the water supply line from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Remove the screw to release the terminal block cover plate. Please note the location of the wires. Now untwist the wire nut to disconnect the wires. and loosen the screw to release the grounding wire. Use a flathead screwdriver to help remove the strain relief nut and pull the wires out of the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Remove the mounting bracket screws and screw in the front leveling legs to make moving the appliance easier. Now, to avoid damage, very carefully pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Once removed, carefully tilt the dishwasher back so its rear panel rests on a towel or carpet. You're now ready to replace the circulation motor. Disconnect the wires first. Then remove the screws to release the mounting bracket. Wiggle the old circulation motor out of the sump housing. Be aware this may require some effort. And some water may spill out. Remove the new circulation motor from its packaging. Apply a small amount of liquid dish soap or rinse aid to the two O-rings. Insert the larger O-ring first into the rear channel near the motor opening. Then insert the smaller O-ring into the front channel. Use a cloth to wipe out the sump opening. Add a small amount of liquid dish soap or rinse aid to the sump opening. And push the new circulation motor directly in. Insert the mounting bracket and secure the screws. Next, cut off the old wire connector. Strip off a quarter inch of insulation. And slide the shrink wrap tape onto the wires. Now match these wires to the color-coded wires of the new harness and crimp to secure. Slide the shrink wrap tape over the connections and heat with a hair dryer set on high to seal the wire harness connection. Reconnect the harness to the circulation motor assembly. Now carefully lift the dishwasher to its upright position. Make sure the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Raise the leveling legs and secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or disposer.
make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Feed the electric line back through the junction box and secure the strain relief nut. Connect the wires using the wire nuts. and secure the grounding wire. Replace the cover plate. Reconnect the water supply line. Open the dishwasher door and replace the check ball into the sump. Position the mounting stem assembly and secure the screws. Replace the filter. Insert the drain trap and wash arm support and rotate to lock into place. Replace the wash arm by gently snapping it onto the support. Replace the dish rack. Turn the water back on as well as the power supply to make sure the dishwasher is functioning properly without leaks. If no leaks are visible, replace the lower access panel or panels and secure the screws.